Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Lunch Break with Amy and Kevin. I'm Amy Baca Oler, your CA president. And as you can see, Kevin is not able to be with us today, but he certainly sends his well wishes and his gratitude for Teacher Appreciation Week. So that is what I want to talk about this week for our lunch break. It is, in fact, Teacher Appreciation Week. And really, the words thank you just are not enough to uh, this year and in any year, actually, to thank um, all the educators for the work that you do day in and day out to educate our students. You know, I think it's kind of uh, that iconic thing where every one of us can think back and look back to that one teacher or two that had an impact on our uh, own personal life. Um, you know, I certainly can, can think of that for myself. Um, just those amazing teachers who uh, did so many things in my life, whether it was my second grade teacher who was there for me when my uh, younger sister had a, a bad uh, car accident and needed a lot of attention and medical care. It was my second grade teacher who was, you know, just looking out for me, making me feel special. Um, or whether it was my high school language arts teacher that inspired me to become a high school language arts teacher. We all have those teachers in our lives that we can look back on and, and know that they made a difference in our life. And I, I really think in this moment in time, um, all of the students who are in school right now, it is you all who they will look back on and think of, of those teachers that got them through a global pandemic, whether it was, you know, the teacher who showed up in their driveway to, to bring them some sort of, you know, cheer or just well wishes, um, or the teacher who, you know, was doing anything and everything possible to engage students uh, via Zoom or via Google Meets. Um, you all do amazing things every single day. And I, I wish that there could be more than just the words, thank you. Um, you know, and when I think about the legislative session that's happening right now, I really am reminded of the things that are possible that people can do to actually show appreciation for educators. Um, as we move into the School Finance Act, and uh, we, we still have that $1.2 billion budget stabilization factor, certainly the legislature can show us appreciation by buying down that budget stabilization factor by funding our schools. Um, I know many of you are engaged in bargaining with your local districts. Of course, our districts can show us appreciation by budgeting what they value, by valuing our employees. So um, thank you is certainly an expression that we want to say to our educators all across the state, but I'm hopeful that people will show their appreciation by walking the talk and actually valuing educators and the work that you do every single day. So with that, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, I hope you have a great week and we're getting close to the end of the school year. So hang in there, we're almost there, we can do it. Take care everyone and we will see you in a couple weeks.